Today we are reading The Bears Make Me Uncomfortable, Untitled Old Man Seems to Think He's the Reason I Have a Job That I Don't Actually Have, I Don't Work For Walmart So I Won't Be Checking Myself Out, and On The Opposite Of An I Don't Work Your Lady. Check out our I Don't Work Your Lady playlist in the description, subscribe for more videos like these, and I trust you to reach 300 likes for this video. Let's do this. The Bears Make Me Uncomfortable This happened a few years ago. I know I have this thing of customer service on me because I get approached by a fair amount regardless of how I'm dressed or look and be it because I've worked it a lot and just because of how I was raised I usually help if I can and point in the direction of someone who does work there when I can't. I am friendly and helpful and which is part of why I end up in the industry as much as I do. My roommate and I were walking into the bulk store Price Inc. while debating whether or not I could do sales. I was adamant it wasn't for me while he was sure it was in my wheelhouse. For the picture, I am 6 feet scold man, around 300 pounds, and I regularly wear a green utility kilt. This day, I was also sporting a disturbed tour shirt, had a half mohawk pulled back and a nice long goatee. My roommate matches me in size, more or less, and is dressed similarly sans kilt. Sucks to be him, kilts rule. We had muscled down to the massive amount of paper products in the back and we continuing our conversation while looking at paper towels. R M stands for roommate, Zen is me and CL the concerned lady. And I don't see how any of that means you couldn't do it. Uh, like I've said, I'm too quick to take no for an answer. Besides, I've had bad experiences with pushy managers trying to meet quotas and wanting me to pull some shady stuff. I feel a tap on my shoulder just as I'm about to launch into my story and see a lady that looks like she could be a Doris Robert lookalike with a concerned look on her face. Why does the toilet paper have to have bears on it? Excuse me? Why does the toilet paper have bears on it? This is the brand I always get but they added bears on it. It makes me uncomfortable to use down there if there's a face on them. I blink a few times. Sh show me what you mean. We pad over a few racks and she points out a bulk package of toilet paper that has a bear mascot and points to the bits under the plastic. See? It has bears on it. Why would they add bears to it? I look and sure enough, it definitely looked like they wanted their customers to add some brown to their bears. I grab another package and see a similar view and then notice what's going on. Oh! I shift the package to the roll separate a bit. This is a bulk package. It's got 4 wrapped and sealed packages of 9 rolls inside this package. The bears are on the outside packaging of the 9 packs, like if it was just the shelf. If you open that, you will see it's normal print. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes so much sense. I could not understand how anyone would think it would be a good idea to have a cute bear on that part. Yeah, that would be a little weird. I don't know if I would want that either. <laughs> oh, also, do you happen to know what our wiper blades are on? My face contours in thought as I try to picture where it would be, since I usually just stay to the food aisle since they have free samples. I don't know offhand, sorry, but I can grab someone who works here if you like. You don't work here? No, just helpful. Employees usually have red vests or at least name tags. Oh, well, thank you very much, young man. I will go find someone who works here. No worries. Have a wonderful day. I turn back to my roommate who has the biggest eating grin. What? Can do sales, huh? Well, that wasn't sales. She had a question. I answered her question. That's customer service. Different. <laughs> sure. He deserves back to previous unimportant conversation. This is not a typical story, but it has been kicking around in my head for a while now. Entitled old man seems to think he's the reason I have a job that I don't actually have. So this happened a year ago in my hometown. And immediately, this is particularly my fault. Me is for me. EA for the entitled a-hole, MA for my mom. My mother worked at a station store and as well known by most everyone. Most people knew me as her son too. So chilling out in an old work uniform of hers in the store was not really abnormal for me. I'm just sitting at one of the tables and get up to face the medicine. I am a bit of a perfectionist so it's really just a habit of mine to make the store look good. 
The entitlement walks in, shouting at me from where he was supposed to get checked out. I can't remember word for word what he said, but he was genuinely being a jerk and asking if I was going to do my job and come help him. I explained that, despite what it may look like, I don't actually work at the store and I am unable to help him. However, I could go find another associate to ring him up. He proceeded to claim that of course I work there and there's no need for another associate if I will just do my job. I guess my mom and the other workers were on break or in one of the few other rooms we have outside the main floor because no one else was around. Deciding that, because I didn't know how to work the register and everything, I would help him quick and then get my mom, I walked toward him and to the checkout area. It was at that time he said something so entitled and condescending I will never ever forget it. Honestly, people like you need to remember who got you to where you are. The entitled man was from a family that thought they owned the entire town and that everything was under their control. I'm sorry sir, could you run that by me again? I had heard about this entitled man being a troubled customer who lies and spread rumors before but I've never had to deal with it personally. You need to remember how you got the position you have and show some respect. As if I owed him something. I being a teenager who did not actually work at the store and the store being empty aside from us reacted poorly. Sir, if I may be frank, you got me nowhere. Nobody has gotten me where I am today. The only thing I've gotten from you is a headache. You are a filthy, lying, thiefing, manipulative, senile old man that gets his kick from thinking he has more importance than he actually does. I don't work here and lucky for you that means I can force you to leave. Let me get you another associate. At that point, as I went to leave, my mom came in from a smoke break and apologized to entitlement for him having to wait and help him. I never mentioned the encounter to my mom and apparently neither did he. Ironically, I deal with him and others a lot more now that I actually work at the store. I do not work for Walmart, so I won't be checking myself out. This could probably fit into entitled parents as well but I think it's more suitable here. This post is about my grandmother, not me. I love my grandmother to death and she helps me out with certain things here and there. But she has a little bit of entitlement in her life and it seems to grow with age. She is very against modern day technology. Though I finally upgraded her to a smartphone and got her a Kindle that she loves. And automation and retail. Her latest fury is against Walmart and the self-checkout. She hates self-checkout because it puts capable workers out of a job and she doesn't see the need to bag her own groceries with no incentive to do so. This happened a few weeks ago at a Walmart. Cast is G for grandma and E for the employee. My grandma was in line at Walmart ready to check out. The person in front of her already had everything scanned but there was a problem with the register and they had to close the lane. The employee tells everyone, Please make your way to self-checkout as we need to close this register for maintenance. The customer behind her starts to move and the customer in front, visibly annoyed, takes their bags to another register. My grandma stands there with her items. The employee asks her, would you like help getting your items to self-checkout? I am not going to self-checkout. I don't work here and will not bag my own groceries. But ma'am, the register is not working and self-checkout will be faster. Am I wearing a Walmart shirt? No. Will I get a discount for using self-checkout? No. Will I be paid to bag and scan my own items? No. Then I have no incentive to go to self-checkout to do a job that you and the other employees are paid to do. But ma'am, my grandma cuts her off. Which is easier for you to do? Open another register to check me out or restock my items when I leave the store. These are your options and I'm not against driving across town for my items. Side note, she's really not as I've been with her and she's done this. L let me get my manager to open another register. The employee gets their manager to open another register and they check my grandma out with no more arguments. Thank you and have a nice day. And she left. She called me later that night to tell me this story and says, 
I have a great new business idea that I am sure Walmart corporate would love to invest in. I am going to open a restaurant where we will have the ingredients, but you will have to cook the food yourself, be charged for the restaurant experience and be expected to tip your cashier. Well, food workers already kind of does that with building your own burger. The grandma laughs and said, yeah, but that's a little different. Maybe I'm just stubborn in my old age. Yes, grandma, you are, but I still love you. Update, thanks everyone for the love and the comments. So a few things. One, I am very aware that my grandma can be a Karen at times. And not being with her during this, I'm pretty sure she was rude in tone. And two, I myself don't have an issue with self-checkout if I am running in for a few items like eggs and bread. We are moving more towards automation and I'm fairly certain that my kids will grow up experiencing the shift to full automation and that their kids will not know what a cashier is. 3. Grandma is an old school stubborn German Lutheran. To those who that means nothing to, she is very resistant to any sort of change. As mentioned, she just got a smartphone a few years ago and finally conceded to driving an automatic crossover when she realized she was having issues getting in and out and spending more money on her 88 sub that it was worth it. Update 2, it's not limited to self-checkout. I just got a call not 2 minutes ago complaining she got carded for cigarettes at 72 years old. On the opposite side of an I don't work your lady. <laughs> Listen, I've had it happen to me before. I've come into a grocery store wearing my work polo and name tag and I've been confused with being an employee there. It happens. I laugh it off, politely say I don't work there and luckily for me, they are all been pleasant experiences. But once, I was the lady. I saw a woman with a work polo and name tag helping a guy on the self-checkout register across from me. I was buying beer and needed someone to check my card. I waited for her to finish talking to him and once I saw her walking away, I politely said, excuse me. She turned around and I started asking if she would check my ID and her response was, um, I don't work here, can't you see my name tag? I work at Lowe's. She was very snide about it, even still, I apologized and said, oh, I'm sorry, I saw you helping him and I thought you worked here. She said, that's my dad in a very rude, condescending way. I let it go and just waited for an actual employee. It happens a lot, but don't be a D over with a simple misunderstanding. People make mistakes, man. Now, if someone gets aggressive about their own mistake, then I have no qualms about being an a-hole back. Guys, before you leave, please check out our awesome I Don't Work Your Lady playlist. I am sure you will love it. Remember to help us reach 300 likes for this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like these and more Reddit stories and hit the bell button to know exactly when we post a new video and join the notification gang. Thank you again for watching this 33rd episode of I Don't Work Your Lady. See ya!